recording. Ready. Hello, my name is Tammy Johnson. And for my class of oral communication, I'm doing my report on the history of Durham. The city of Durham was founded by Dr. Charles McDermott in 1834. He brought land and established a plantation. Durham grew from a value settlement, which had its beginning in, 18, in the 1840s, to the thriving railroad town in the 1880s. With an economy based largely on agriculture and timber, it flourished into the Depression. Derma, Arkansas is one of several towns in southeast Arkansas where small towns, small numbers of Jews have lived since the late 19th century. We are located 72 miles from Pine Bluff. Derma grew when the Missouri Pacific Railroad line came through town. Derma became incorporated in 1890. Currently, the town is suffering a decline in population. We are experiencing citizens moving away from our town at an alarming rate. A town that was once generating jobs, homes, and businesses is now followed by the wayside, and other Delta towns are experiencing during these economically hard times. Farming accounts for 30% of our revenue. As, the, as of the 2000 census, there were 3,292 people living in Durham, Arkansas. 1,200 households, 824 families, and the population density was 1,100 people per square mile. There were 1,400 housing units at an average density of 497 square miles. The racial makeup is 25% white, 73% black, 0.15% Native American, 0.30% Asian, and other races, 0.97%, and two or more races, 76% for Hispanic and Latino. Economic research services have having a family dependency. The city has experienced economic lags because of the dependence. The major employee in the town is the Delta Regional Arkansas Department of Corrections, Hawkeye Glove Factory, and the Durham Juvenile Detention Center. The average earning for these industries was $248 per week to $660. Per week. 13% of the residents' total earnings are from the manufacturing, manufacturing industry, the major majority of which are from work in low-paying farming jobs. Despite the slight growth in jobs and local jobs, Chico County Social Services workers are adamant that there are simply not enough jobs to employ its residents. The cities of Durham, great greatest housing concern is quality. However, affordability problems and the limited available, available housing assistance is also a significant problem. The majority, 69% of all units, are owner-occupied and 31% are renter-occupied. Because of their affordability and availability, almost one-fifth of all residents live in mobile homes. The median rent is $300 per month, per month in Durham, Arkansas, which is among the lowest in the state. The Durham Public School System, which has 418 students currently, the enrollment is in the decline. And a consultant for the school and spending cuts are necessary to avoid being placed in fiscal distress status by the state. As of Monday, March 7, 2011, Twelve employees of the Durham School District have received notice from Superintendent Allen Newton that their contracts will not be renewed for the next year because of distress and severe financial problems. Cutbacks and possibility of school clothing loom over the city of Durham. The city of Durham has 20 churches for the town's population. The denominations for the citizen of Durham, 
we have 11 black churches, which consist of one AME church, two churches of God in Christ, eight missionary Baptist church, and nine Baptist church. The city of Durham has seen great heydays, but according to research, this Delta community, which I live in, is predicted to continue to decline yearly as more and more people move out of the town to find better paying jobs, better schools, and affordable and quality housing. My town is not reaping the opportunities that the town and cities and the northern cities are generating. Thank you. That's the conclusion for my report on the history of Jeremiah. My name is Tammy Johnson. Oh. You did very well that time. Good, good, good. That was exactly the same.